Hi, betting experts. On Saturday, August the 12th, nine races on ITV on Saturday. Six from Ascot, where the Shergar Cup takes centre stage. A really good couple of races from Haydock and a Group 3 at Newmarket. We start off with our betting expert daily nap, sponsored by Bet365. Goes in the three o'clock at Haydock. This is the Rose of Lancaster Stakes, a Group 3 over an extended mile two. And I think the value here lies with El Drama, for whom Carl Burke has taken over from Roger Varian. I think there's just a chance... He might improve for the change of scenery. Rod, Roger, obviously a top-class trainer, but Carl's had eight winners in the last fortnight, and I thought he was very promising on his first run back from Maidan at Goodwood in May behind King of Conquest. I watched that run back this morning. I think he'll reverse the form with a more positive ride from Clifford Lee. The favourite Al Arzi, always one to take on at a short price for me, away from his beloved Newbury. Our betting expert value angle selection Sponsored by Bet365, goes in the 340. This is the Sweet Solera, Group 3 over 7 furlongs for two-year-olds only. And I really like Wild Goddess here. Now, Charlie Appleby flying along as usual. And this juvenile at one to follow, up in class, when winning over this course and distance last month. Heavily supported, quickening clear by four lengths with Buick Motionless. She remains open to loads more improvements. She's only run twice, and I don't think this Group 3 is the strongest. The remaining seven races on ITV will do them in time order. Add Ascot in the 135, a dash over five furlongs. Bond Chairman ran really well over this course and distance last time out, up on a fast pace throughout, just wilting in the final 100 yards or so. He's fresher than most after just two runs this season. I think he seems sure to go close. The 210 Ascot, one mile six handicap, or Pridwin represents George Scott going well at the minute five wins under his belt he's pretty prolific he's been running well in defeat all summer in decent handicaps I think this step up to two miles might just unlock that little bit of improvement and he certainly caught the eye finishing really strongly over a mile six at Newmarket last time out. Over to Haydock, the 225, a really valuable handicap for three-year-olds and upwards over a mile. One last chance here for Fantastic Fox at a double-figure price. He's such a bitterly disappointing horse on a long losing run, but he's very well handicapped if everything clicks. At Zaney's up, the headgear's on. I think if they ride him with a bit more patience, he should be capable of winning off this sort of mark, but he obviously does come with a wealth warning. I think we've been on two or three times and not drawn in the last six months or so back to ascot for the 245 a one mile four handicap well and the leap's been a terrific advert for daniel and claire kubler who do really well with their horses consistent handicapper he's got optimum conditions at ascot as the ground begins to dry out he seems sure to go close under his usual hold up ride 320 ascot over a mile this time the handicap well escobar comes from an informed stable david o'mara he's been quiet for the first few months spring summer but he's going really well now a rare Southern Raider. He needs a fast pace, Escobar. Often in these sort of races, they get going for home too soon, and maybe he'll be able to weave his way through late at a big price. The 355 at Ascot, a one mile four handicap. Well, Struth is tough, genuine. He's won two from nine for Charlie Johnson. He ran an absolute screamer when third over this course and distance in July, and it's easy to overlook a lesser effort on deep ground at Goodwood last time out. And finally at Ascot, the 430, six furlong handicap. Well, Washington Heights is quirky, but he has has only run 10 times he's been in the frame in top Saturday handicaps all summer he doesn't want to be in front for long he'll need to be dropped in front on the line but there's a few front runners here I think it could set up ideally for him best of luck with all nine ITV races on Saturday betting experts